Oh yeah, that's a great site. And it's not like we're not already busy trying to finish up the 2021 model year. So many people have waited so long to get to this point. 2022 pre-orders going in. Don't have an official start date for 2022. More on that still to come on this channel. And yes, yesterday, the acknowledgement finally from Chevrolet, it exists. Well, it will exist in 2023. More conversations on what this all means coming up on this channel right now. I just want to focus on current marketplace and some things going on and actually after today's video might spawn some additional conversations on whether you should or shouldn't add the two additional quarts to your DCT transmission on your C8 Corvette, whether you're tracking or not. But for now, let's give you an idea of what's involved in order to add those two additional quarts and we'll follow up with some beautiful rides on today's upload. Welcome everybody to my Corvette channel. Okay, we've talked about it before on the channel. If you want to, many of you are asking, should you? But if you want to add, for your performance guys, you want to add the two extra quarts of transmission fluid to your DCT and your C8 Corvette. Our technician Chuck is about to do that right now. Uh, you told us before that it's more than just taking off the bumper. In fact, taking off the bumper had nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with it. I took the bumper off this one to put the high wing on, okay. and I'm gonna leave it off because I don't want to reach over the, the high wing to work inside the trunk area. All right. So. Have at it. <laughs> have at it. Let me show you this high wing, even though it's upside down. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, more on that to come. Dude, even the posts are exposed carbon fiber. Man, that's pretty hot, man. You remember the expense of all that exposed carbon fiber. We did that on our Coffee with Conti show down at the Nutcracker. Link is down below in the description. This is an aftermarket one, but it Still gives you an idea. So, this is a long process of taking stuff apart. And it doesn't matter if it's a coupe or a convertible, correct? Don't matter. Okay. So you got to get into the rear trunk area. Right. We're going to take. Got to take the carpet out first. That's only the beginning. Okay. Now this is a question and still a huge debate if in fact Chevrolet should already put those two quarts in that'll be a another discussion for another time right now if you want to add it I want you to see that this is a little bit and Chuck has told you a little bit more involved than you guys realize but some of you actually need this for Scott like our customer here in New York who is actually going to do some performance driving okay so carpet's out. one carpet's out carpet is out we're still nowhere close we're still nowhere close. We're still nowhere close. <laughs> okay, you're killing me. <laughs> now this panel's gonna come out. We take this panel out. Okay. And guess what? Uh, We're still nowhere close. Are you kidding me, dude? Nope. Because here's your transmission, but the plug's way up underneath here. Uh, why they couldn't put it back here, I'm really not sure. But now that we've got this far, now we've got to take the air cleaner out, which has two bolts here, two bolts down in here. This has got to come off. The air cleaner's got to come out. You got to be careful because there's like seven or eight wiring harnesses clipped to the back side of this air cleaner. Okay. And about every one of the clips will break if you're not extremely careful. Hmm. Then you got loose wiring that could fall down against the exhaust. Okay, take these four bolts out. This slides out. Same thing on this side. Slides out. And I'm not even sure that you can see or we can show you. What's that? One of the two bolts you got to get on this side of the air cleaner that bolt down on top of the transmission. Nate, you could have brought some snacks. Snacks would be good, right? I mean, he brought me brisket. I mean, wow. <laughs> 
So, I can't see from this side, but there right. should be a 10 millimeter bolt right underneath this wiring harness right here. Okay. There's one on that side, there's one on this side that holds the front part of the air cleaner. Then you have this one down here, this one down here, and then you have to take your your air in, air intake loose here off that. And then this thing here, this air cleaner, is a tight, snug fit between here and here. Almost impossible to get out, but it will come out. What about the clips you were talking about? Well, the clips are, it, they're hard to see. See this wiring right here? Yes. Okay, there's wiring harnesses all over the back side here here and all those are pushed in trying to pull these out they don't pull out they just break then you have a problem because you can see right here's the exhaust manifold so they put this up against here to keep it off the exhaust so once you break all those clips you have to replace all those clips oh you're gonna break them oh no doubt <laughs> they, they don't come out they just break okay uh, as a matter of fact, uh, they told us when you and I went to prompt, they told us that, hey, you know, you guys are going to have to be careful with this. Uh, more than likely, they're going to break. Yeah, they were correct. They break. Okay, we're still not there yet, but the fluid, the fill plug is clear up underneath here, like another two inches back underneath the air cleaner. Gotcha. And once you get the plug out, it's a really small plug, so you're going to need a really small funnel to put the two extra quarts of transmission fluid in it. And then once you do that, you rinse and repeat and put everything back. Okay. Do you bring it to temperature? Do you have to test it beyond that? Nope, nope. just add it and you're done. Add it and you're done. Okay. Because okay. if you try to check it, if you bring it to temperature and pull the plug out to check it, guess what? All two quarts are gonna run right back out on the ground. Okay. Because <laughs> it's now over full by two quarts. All right, so you guys are probably wondering price-wise if this is gonna be adequated to what about Three? Yeah. Three labor hours? Yeah. In most cases? Yeah, more okay. than likely. All right. More than fair. <laughs> oh, and by the way, yes. I will give you this note. If you guys have this done at the PDI, when you take your car in to have the first service done, the 7,500 mile service with the training filter, you need to let them know up front because you don't lose that much, maybe a quarter of a quart. But if you don't tell somebody and they replace your training filter and pull the plug out to check it, there goes all two quarts of transmission fluid. Now you got to pay them to put it back in because you didn't let them know, hey, I already put the two quarts in, so be aware. Good tip. Yeah. Thanks. Plus, too, if you're doing performance driving, we told you guys the proper break in before you go on track is 1,500 miles. <laughs> we're, not, we're not filming for a catalog. I just want to show you the the DCT fluid that goes in your transmission. <laughs>
is red Till you discover It is within each other To forgive and make amends If I had known then Or what I know now I wouldn't have said what I said I took the long road Thought I'd be better on my own Sometimes what's right is wrong instead Cause I And I didn't understand that 